I'm really curious, and I'm going to ask you two to speak for your mothers because they're not here, right? But if they were here, part of this conversation here and your guys' realization and mm -hmm. the climate, I guess pun intended, the climate and the culture that we're in today versus how they approached and thought about it then and now, like, what do you think their answers would be? Where, are your, where do you think your mothers are? You know, um, I actually, that's a great question because I think. <laughs> Pun intended again? It would probably be a mixed <laughs> bag. I think there are certain <laughs> things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah um, it would be a mixed bag uh, because my mom actually, but I, I think I would like to ask her this question because she did grow up. Like we grew up in Jamaica and uh -huh. we grew up um, self sufficient living off the land. So I wonder if, yeah. So I wonder if she thought, um, I think it would be half and half. I think certain yeah. things she just did to save money, and then certain things she did because that was the way she was brought up. But I don't know. In what context? I don't know if she's like, this is just what you do. Um, or, if, or if maybe it's, this is what you do to be sustainable. I don't, I, and I suspect it's just, it was just part of the lifestyle. I don't think she ever thought mm -hmm. of herself as like mm -hmm. being green in any way or eco-friendly. You know, I think she just th was just raised this way. But like we, you know, we would go to the countryside on the weekends and we'd, kill a goat and like use every part of the animal um and and have have dinner we um you know like we my mom always grew like like little things like she always grew peppers and um and avocado and things like that we had chickens uh so but i i just i think that it must have been i'm, I'm really interested to ask her but i suspect it's just this is what Jamaicans do and this is what you do to get by. And it, from like a, maybe a money mm -hmm. perspective, like if you grow your own stuff, you don't have to buy it. If you have these shopping bags, yep. you don't have to go out and, and get them. Um, so yeah, I, I just don't think sustainability was on her radar. Cause again, it just like was not like all birds. It was not marketed to us. And um I think also part of being black in America is sort of this separation, you know, not seeing yourself in all areas sure. of, of American culture, you know, like growing up saying the Pledge of Allegiance never meant anything to me. I would say it, but it was just words. I never thought of yeah. like, oh, the, uh, the troops fought for our freedoms. You know, yeah. I, I was separate. I was like other. I was different from that. So I think just part of the sort of like black mm -hmm. meta is thinking of yourself as like yeah. something set. Like we're not Americans. We're African-American, you know, um, we're similar, but we're different. We're um, I would say it'd be similar. Yeah. It definitely wasn't. Change. My mom wasn't thinking about climate change or like being sustainable um i would say <laughs> my mom's very practical so like she might have just been like oh why why should i go waste my money on mm -hmm. plastic tupperware containers when you know this margarine you know tub does the same thing like all it is is to store food yeah cuz i mean definitely back then we didn't we didn't think about like the the uh health effects that like heating up plastic <laughs> had on us so it was just like i mean definitely heating up some leftovers in a margarine mm -hmm. tub i'm sure it was terrible for us yeah uh, <laughs> you know so i think it was just more of that of like my mom in my in a way my mom's always been kind of like an like an activist, like wanting to beat the system. So like sure. she finds little ways of like, Oh, I didn't have to buy that. I just did this, you know? Um, but yeah, definitely had nothing to do with being sustainable or, or climate change. Um, okay. Um, yeah. 
And, you know, yes, we were uh, financially, we weren't in the best, um, the best position, but it wasn't like we were that poor to where it's like, oh, we need to hang on to this. I think, I think um, just knowing how my mom grew up, she grew up, she grew up very poor. Um, So Mm. I think it's almost, I don't want to call it hoarding, but she, I mean, it just, when you have something, you hold on to it and you use it for as long as you can. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It definitely reflects in her food because she she lives alone. But if you go to my mom's house, her refrigerator is filled with food. She has a a deep freezer like that's filled with food. Like she always makes sure she has lots of food to where when someone comes over, she can offer them something my mom will give me the most random things to take home, like a frozen pizza and cucumbers or like, you know, and I think a lot of that has to do with her food insecurities growing up. Um, yeah. There's the internet is filled with memes of random things your parents have for you that they no longer like, it's like they can't throw it away, but their kids Mm -hmm. or their kids and their grandkids become the reduce reuse part of the cycle for them. I I think the difference is we had that, but my mom would mom's craftiness or my aunt's craftiness, she would b- make or knit or sew something that was like a dispenser of them. So even though we had them, we had to like have them organized. That was my mother. There was a place for everything. Um, I would add this, like I'll, I'll say selfishly, I wanted to ask you guys that question. Selfishly, to learn more about your mothers and your, your and, and provide context for our listeners here, but also to have an, a, a reason to talk about my mom because uh, I know if we're talking about our moms, like they yeah. don't want to know that they were being talked about. Um, yep. But my mom's probably the most thrifty, like reusable, sustainable person I know, mostly out of the same reasons: necessity, income, um, but also just like she grew up with their parents grew up really poor and they grew up with just what they had. So they learned how to make everything work or they created everything they needed. Mm-hmm. Right. And that carried forth. But the way she thought about it was very similar. Like we just do this because it can't afford otherwise. And I think it was also culturally like, because yeah. when I started getting green or thinking green or being eco friendly or eco minded as a teenager. And as then later in my twenties, she would tease me and jab at me. I'm like, no, no, like that's hippie stuff. That's, you know, something. It was like yeah. counterculture. And yeah. I remember specifically at Christmas, she got me a reusable tote bag made out of, um, oh my God, corduroy. And it said thinking green or go green on it. That was like hand stitched on. It was really nice. And, nice. and she was getting that to tease me. But I loved it because it was like right. exact <laughs> represented everything. Like someone handcrafted this with like re- cut up jeans and yeah. sewed it all together. And it lasted forever. And now my mom like totally gets it. Like she's the one trying to protect the bees. Like bees are her thing and they're so important. Like, and whether she agrees that climate science and climate change is real, she also knows everything's changing and we need to be better to the planet earth, you know, because this is the place that we have. So her, her interpretation of all of this has definitely evolved over time. I want to say I was a little part of that, but I also think it's just like you keep updating how you think about things over time. But I mean, she's, she's on Facebook marketplace in the way that no one, like she treats it like her own garage sale, getting in yep. and especially for the things she cans and does like puts food by with like, she is undercutting the market because she never pays full price for anything, but it's, yeah, yeah. and it's yeah. stuff that people don't want to use anymore. So it's not new either, but it's still what it needs to be. <laughs> 